Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button. You guys don't wanna miss what I have lined up for you like this incredible haul that happened this weekend. I am Nelson, you're watching Nature Now. And without further ado, we're gonna get started because there's a lot to show. I have everything in order and hopefully we'll keep that order. And I'll be able to show you things that are around here because I have AI technology. It follows me. Fascinated by that. <laughs> All right, so the first one is the Bubba Phylum Lobii. And guys, if I sound rushed, I'll tell you why. This is my third time recording this. I went through the whole thing two times, and for some reason, it didn't want to save this program. I guess I had to reload it. So I'm crossing fingers that the third one works. We'll know. <laughs> so. I'm just rushing because the light is going down. The sun's already going down. And there's not a lot of light back here at night. This is the Bubba Phylum Lobii. Unfortunately, the vendor I got this from, I didn't get her name and it was really busy at the time that I got it. So I just, I needed to, it was very tiny and I just wanted to get out of everybody's way. But look at what a great Bubba Phylum. It has like this very cool, you know, little trigger, like my other Bubba Phylum that the little lip moves up and down and so it gets trapped in there the bugs get trapped in there for a few seconds they get pollinated come out and pollinate the flower very cool little trigger and that one was forty dollars unfortunately like i said i didn't get the, the name of the place but it is bubble phylum low bi kathy's gold yes all right second philanopsis violetta which is from spring water Look at what a gorgeous little Philanopsis this is. And this species, he told me it's not very common. So uh, most of them were $35. This one was $50. And it was the only one he had. I figured, you know what? It's a beautiful color. And the fragrance on it is really, really nice. It's sweet. It's strong. But it's, oh my God, it smells really good. I got a lot of nice fragrance. Uh, orchids this time. My third one is my Papiopetalum Albion. Look at this, how cool. This one I got, like, it was sort of like an afterthought. Oh, no. You're not an afterthought. You're not an afterthought. The, the shopping was. <laughs> you know, they have feelings too. You can't say that to them. She wasn't an afterthought by no means. It's a beautiful, beautiful uh, Papiopetalum. And I got it at Carl Smith. And the reason I say it was an afterthought on the, on the purchase is because I wasn't gonna go on Sunday. I only went on Saturday and I left the Bubba Phylum Lobi. I, I left it. And I remember that night I was at a wedding reception and after my second cocktail, I'm like, I left another Bubba Phylum. <laughs> so I had to wake up the next day early again to go and just pick it up to make sure, you know, cause I, I didn't know what happened. I didn't know if the lady remembered it was mine. <laughs> and thank God she did. She was so kind. She was so kind. But I can't remember. I can't remember the name of the nursery. And I, and I didn't get a card. See, I, I collect. I collect cards. <laughs> so I could remember everyone's name and information. That's how I give you guys the information. If not, I wouldn't. Because right there, you can't be writing. It's very hard to be writing and doing all that kind of stuff. This Paphiopetalum has fragrance very very faint faint but it has a fragrance and i thought it was just me but i had somebody else smell it and they said yeah it has a fragrance it's like right back there in the background but it's really really adorable and it's so white with little red freckles love it next one is catlea lepardi this is one of the main reasons why i went to the fair i had seen this in one of the instagrams it's starting to open but i'll put the flower here and by the way, that flower belongs to uh, Blanca. <laughs> I stole it from her video. I took a snapshot because I couldn't find the, a picture of this flower anywhere. I looked everywhere and I didn't find anything. And it's really a gorgeous flower. And the fragrance is very strong and sweet. I loved it. <clears throat> when Blanca and I saw them, I, was, I had, already had, had already seen it and she had come by and she's like, oh, I didn't see that when it was still early in the morning. So there was one that was blooming and then this one that still had the bud. So I took this one and she took the blooming one, which I think she just did a haul on it. <coughs> Obviously, if I took the picture from it. 
I'm very tired. <laughs> After the third one, I'm like wiped out. All right. So this next one is, I'm sorry. You know what? I didn't even give you the full name. It's a Catlea La Party Black Prince crossed with a Acklandea or Acklandii Crawls Leopard. So I guess a Crawls Leopard is like one of their own uh, orchids that they cross. And then it has a 4N at the end on both of them. I don't know what that means. And that was $40, which was an awesome, awesome price. The other Crawl Smith, I ended up getting three at Crawl Smith was this one which she is now my new obsession love her to death check her out isn't that gorgeous oh and you know what it's actually better now when i recorded this earlier the light was so bright that it was washing out the color of this flower and now you can see the true true colors looks beautiful so this one actually was 75 dollars and she's not a common one they were telling me over there that this is not really a common one and that um the, the fragrance on this is really strong you can smell it like as soon as you walk right up to it, you have you smell this sweet fragrance so like i said it was like a fragrant fair for me i don't know every every flower i gravitated to had fragrance this time or almost all of them <laughs> not everyone but all of them then i have the catlea violacea varied flamea from cross smith also which is oh i'm sorry that's the one <laughs> i'm off my game but you know what i'm not editing this it's it, this is the way it's going i'm not perfecting this after the third one it is what it is <laughs> so that is the violacea Vi Vi varied flamea that's 75 dollars at brendan at brethren's which i always get the name wrong i always say brendan but at Brethren's Orchids, I got the yellow bird that I've been wanting so, so much. It has a Brasvola or Brasavola nodosa crossed with a Richard Mueller. And it's this beautiful yellow. It almost looks like a Brasavola, but it's, it's, it's almost like waxier, I think, if I could recall. And it's really bright yellow and it smells delicious. So I'm thinking about putting this and hanging it somewhere, uh, maybe on a, on a pork. Put a cork on it. <laughs> oh, deliriousness. All right. Now for the seventh one. Doritis Pulsharima, which is this one. And it's a red one. I have two of these. I have a pink and a white that I got at the flea market years ago. But this one, look how cute. It has a little spike coming up. So this one, I love the leaves. And... The ones I have here do really well. They don't bloom for me as much, but they grow a lot. And I have several of them. I could like divide them if I want to, which I, I don't. I want to create like a ball of it because they shoot these long spikes with pom-poms in the end and they look beautiful. They're really, really pretty. So that one I got from Lady Vanda, from my buddies over there, um, Serena. She, um, she was the one who pointed, I told her, do you have anything? Cause they were like wiped out, they had nothing. And this was on Sunday, again, and I told her, I said, I'm sorry I couldn't see you on Saturday. I was kind of like looking for specific uh, orchids. And she's like, I got wiped out. Everything got like with flowers got sold. So good for them. Good for them. So now the bubble phylum Makoyanum. Sounds, for me, it sounds Japanese. I love this name, Makoyanum. And it's from Aquahenera, USA. And their slogan is Plants of the World. And this one is $30, was $30. And unfortunately, as soon as I brought her home, the flowers fell. They were so dainty. And I borrowed an image uh, online to show you what it looks like. And it has these um, tiny little, it's like a little, it looks like an alien ship. Like little things like that. I don't know how to explain it, but it's really cool. And I've always wanted this one. And this new nursery, they're super cool. It was, I think, son and daughter. And the sun was so, so cool, so awesome, so respectful and so well-mannered. I love seeing that in today's, in today's day and age. You know, he was very, like, courteous and, and very business-like and super young. I was like, wow, he's going to be, he's probably going to end up owning this whole company and running it someday. 
But uh, I'm going to visit them. I actually spoke to them and, and asked them if since they, they are local. They're here in Homestead. I said, perfect. I could do, I've been wanting to do nursery visits and kind of cover stories on these nurseries because there's a lot of interesting stories out there. And, and I think that you guys would, would benefit from listening to it because you'll get a better idea. Maybe you'll get ideas of even how to grow your own orchids. You know, it's, it's always good to talk to them because they are doing this day in and day out, right? So I got this and I guarantee you, next time I see them, I'm getting plenty more because they have beautiful bubble phylums and paphio petalums. They are really nice, stuff I haven't even seen before. Okay, I'm doing pretty well. I'm going down the list pretty good. Here are my non-plants. This one I didn't, I didn't mention because I didn't, I, I, I put it last, but I'm gonna talk about it now because it's, it's an orchid and that way I can just go into my non-orchids. This is a Sidephenadia. <laughs> Satan Phenadia. That's how, how I Satan Phenadia. That's how um, Smiley taught me how to say because I have one of these. Look back here. Camera, follow me. <laughs> this one is the same as this one, but this one I've had already for a year. And trust me, they grow fast. They're fast growing. This one gave me, I don't know if you can see it, it gave me eight shoots. Those are the dry shoots. It gave me eight shoots and it was a spectacular display of, of flowers and it's very, very fragrant. So that was the pink one. This one, I put it on um, on one of these cork, uh, cork boards or cork sconces, I call them, from Ophi's. And um, they got a bunch in. So guys, if you want one, I suggest you call fast or, 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 or send them an email on, online because these things go pretty fast and I love them because these are super lightweight and they have a lot of crevices so the re roots actually can grow within those crevices and it looks really nice this one I did the staple just the way I did the other ones that I've shown you in my previous videos I suggest if you haven't seen it go back and see it it's a super cool way of building you know or putting something together on a, on a cork um, uh, plaque so this one, you can grow them, like you see the one in the back, they don't need, they're like Vandas. So you, you don't need to put sphagnum on. So I just put the little staple there, and look, it's, it's being held super tight. It's not going anywhere. The S-hook, I punctured right through it. I also got that at Ophi's, so one-stop shop. I love, I love that. I'm a practical person. I don't like to be traveling all over the city to, just to get different things, to go to one thing. You know, and at Ophi's, I could just see everything I need. And sometimes I'm overwhelmed because there's so much of what you need <laughs> that you end up taking so much stuff for projects. And then you have like boxes of things and you're like, wait, what was I going to do with this? <laughs> so now I'm not doing that. I'm actually, I have a project in mind and I buy what I need. And now with the YouTubing is great because it's encouraging me to do more things. So it's, or I've become more organized with that. All right. Oh. It's like speed, speed hauling. <laughs> I'm literally hauling. <laughs> okay, the next one is string of bananas. I got a string of bananas. And yes, it did come with this little cute white um, ceramic uh, pot. I, it doesn't have a hole. I have to open a hole in it. All the other ones there that you see pots in, those are my pots. Because I don't like to have them in the plastic pots alone because they tip over. And so when you put them in these pots, they actually hold better and they don't tip over. You don't damage anything that's blooming. So anyways, that's, oh, I'm sorry. I just said certain bananas and I just didn't even talk about the people. <laughs> oh my God, this is going to be an interesting video. <laughs> but like I said, I'm leaving it like that. Sierra Madre. They were the coolest couple. They were so nice. We spoke for a while. They're from the Philippines. They showed me a couple of things and we even started talking about Miss Universe, which was awesome. I love Miss Universe pageants. Being Latino, you know, it's a thing. Puerto Rico, Colombia, Venezuela, you know, we all get into this. It's like the Super Bowl of our country. <laughs> so it was the other night and they told me that the Miss Philippine, who won, I think, two years ago or three years ago, um, they decorated the actual, I don't know if it was ceremony or event where she was attending and they had a big poster of it in the back of their vending tent. It was very cool. And they have all kinds of stuff. They have orchids, they have um, um, aeroids, they have alocasias, they have vandas. I mean, they had a bunch of, a little bit of a lot, no, a little bit or a lot of little bits of good things, if that makes any sense. <laughs> they were all really cool stuff. 
So anyways, they're another one that I'm going to probably visit their nursery and kind of interview them because their stories was really interesting. When they told me that they actually supplied the orchids and put it together, I was like, wow, you know, that's very impressive. That's like a big deal, you know, and, and we're here, you know, in such a humble surrounding like the Ophi's Orchid Festival and these people are doing like this universe <laughs> orchid displays. So it's awesome to know that the people in this community are dabbing a little bit into everything and you know it, it's not too big or too small you know they're all part of this and I love it so we're done with that oh my god I lost I lost I have a runaway orchid where did she go <laughs> oh here she is <laughs> oh, you know what this is this is gonna at least if anything this is gonna serve as comedy relief for sure for sure I can't wait to see this video I'm actually excited about it it's so out there that that it's totally not me i'm usually so organized but anyways it's okay to be a little bit unorganized sometimes i got a bonsai from ray's bonsai ray's bonsai was awesome they were super cool ray is super awesome full of information they even have a, a bonsai club that he i think he's the president of it and i may look into that because i love bonsai i started doing bonsai a long long time ago i even sold in shows so i know that whole feel of selling in shows it's a lot of fun it's a lot of work <laughs> by the time you're done you just want to go home and sleep so the, i i saw that they, oh sorry sorry i didn't mean to scare you i saw that they had tr only tropical bonsais like uh plant trees that i see here locally and that's the type of bonsais i was doing at one point so they were telling me that these that these bonsais he does them all himself he does the whole um bending of the of the of the branches and wiring it so you know you're actually buying something that they're creating with their own hands and that to me is very valuable when i see something that people do with their own hands any type of work like that i take a lot of value to it because as an artist myself and i used to do a lot of artwork in the industry you know i take pride in the, the work that i would do and sometimes it's hours and hours to do it and you have to sell it for peanuts because some people don't recognize that you know they're not there with you doing it so when I see it, I recognize it and I empathize with it and I say, you know what, I gotta check this, this place out. Man, was I so like engaged in something so awesome. They have such great bonsais. I paid 25 for this bonsai. Their prices are so fair. And they say that, you know, that they do all types of tropicals. I'm gonna put their information. You can reach out to him. He is a super, super nice dude. He is like, you'll like talking to him he loves giving information on how they grow on, and gives great tips i already know where to buy my the the tool that i need he showed me the tool he has because he says it's better to cut these wires than to unfold it because you can actually damage the tree and he's right i've done that before so it's better to take your time and cut it that's why bonsai is all about learning to have what patience <laughs> It teaches you. That's why I got into it because I don't have patience. I am very like, I'm so hyper naturally <laughs> that for me, I need fast instant gratification. But bonsais calm me down a bit. It's my medicine. That's why I say nature is medicine. So then I said, what the heck? Let's go for the big one. <laughs> and I got a seven year old cypress bonsai. Look at this. This is a Florida native. It is absolutely beautiful. It's seven years old already, and look how it looks. It looks already like an, like an old tree. Now, this baby only cost me $40. This was the first one I actually purchased. I got that one on Sunday. Again, I ended up getting three, three extra ones on Sunday. So this one I got the first day, and it's because they have one there that's, they have one there that's 200 years old. I did showcase it, on my uh, Ophi's uh, May Day uh, Fest, it's showcased in there. It's a cypress tree, Cypress Florida cypress tree, and it's also, it, it's in a pot like three times the size of this. It's 200 years old, and they were saying that it's not for sale. So I don't blame them. I wouldn't sell it either, but it is valued at a very high price. And so I said, you know what? I'm gonna have this one so when I'm 200 years old, I can get some good money for this. I thought it was a good deal, don't you think? good investment so anyways <laughs> the best part about purchasing this is when I bumped into smiley she gave me a great idea she said 
Do you know what, and I have to read it because I really don't know how to say it off the top of my head. I always say it wrong. Chonorche's fragrance. And I'm like, yeah, I have one. It's a very mini, mini type of, it looks almost like a Vanda or a Philanopsis, but it's like, it doesn't grow more than a thumbnail. She goes, yeah. And I go, yeah, I got mine at RF about a year and a half ago. And they bloomed this beautiful little like string of, of bright little colored uh, flowers. And she goes, well, if you take those and you place them on the tree with a little bit of moss when they bloom it looks like an actual tree has orchids growing from it yeah that's that was my face when she said that my brain was going <laughs> i was like oh my god when someone comes up with a creative thing like that for me that's like fueling pulling pulling gasoline and saying go <laughs> I'm like, I want to do that now. <laughs> so she's going to get her hands on more. And I told her that I definitely would purchase some from her because I want to do that on some of my, I have other bonsais, but that is such a great idea because it's almost like a synergistic creative piece. You know, one works with the other, like in nature, that's the way they work. And that's the way it's going to be working here. The plant is going to live off the bark of this tree and they'll live happily ever after. <laughs> so that's going to be a fun project and I promise you I will do that on YouTube <laughs> because that would be so much fun to do that's going to get a lot of people excited about bonsai and orchids and if you like both like I do that's like bringing like peanut butter and chocolate together you know that whoever came up with that deserves a Nobel the, either Nobel Peace or what's the other one Pulitzer no that's for writers I think <laughs> deserves a, a prize because that is the best for me, best combination. Peanut butter, chocolate, and banana. And now they have it in ice cream. <laughs> Guys, I'm almost done. We're gonna follow this, this thing. This thing follows me, see? It's wonderful. Artificial intelligence at its best. So as I told you guys, I wanted to do, and I did, is I bought a bunch of these, Maxillaria tenifolia gematas, and I didn't have, oh, it's getting dark. Let me see here. This is way better. Okay. Now you can see it. So I went to, uh, to um, Banyong's and they have these. These are handmade. As I was saying, I appreciate all handmade things. These cones are handmade. They're gorgeous. They have different patterns. This one, I love it. It has that fish scale type of effect. And I just, I took all four and I put them in here with a mix that I did with cocoa fiber um charcoal sponge rock and uh clay beads hydro beads i mixed it all in there together and right now i have my dream come true because i have this one that i showed you before which is the red one and now i have the yellow one so i have the two that i've been wanting to to build oh great so that really is it i did it all <laughs> hopefully once i'm done with this and i hit save it'll save and exactly the way i recorded this today is the way that it's going <laughs> it's funny the way things work out right when you try to be too like detail and perfectionist in something the universe says let's have fun with this one <laughs> i laugh at it <laughs> so anyways guys Thank you for staying tuned through this whole madness. I am Nelson. You're watching Nature Now. And until next time, and hopefully much better, <laughs> as Smokey says, and as I, as, as, as I say, <laughs> keep it green. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs>